Hey, Don Copeland here with the Muto Expert Jet 661. And today we're going to do uh, another one of the fun things you can use to do to make some money. This is actually a ceramic uh, ornament that uh, we got from Best Blanks. I'll show you here in a little bit the uh, link to where we got this at. And what we're going to do is we're going to print these. Now, what could these be used for? These could be first wedding, you know, first year married together for Christmas if you wanted to do it. You could use these as save the date. You could actually turn around and print on the back information about the wedding if you wanted to. Um, you could give them away as wedding favors to the day of the wedding. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you what we've done, show you in the software what we've done, and go ahead and print up. I can show you right here. We've already loaded it up. We have 48 of these ornaments on the bed, and ink cost on this entire job is under a dollar. Let's go ahead here and show you what we did in the software. Uh, what I've done is I've created a box here that represents uh, basically the outer borders of the heart, um, three inches wide and about two and seven eighths inches tall. Now we measured a number of these and we found there were slight variations in them. These are a fired product and so they're not always a hundred percent accurate. And so what we've decided to do is that the one thing that is pretty accurate is the center line. So what we've done is we created a center line down the middle of this as well so we can actually when we load this, the hearts onto the printer, we can align this with the dip at the top and at the point at the bottom. All right, once we've done that, what we've done is we've brought in our artwork. This is actually a Photoshop file that we brought in. Brought in the Photoshop file, dropped it in, positioned it in here until we got it positioned where we want. As you see right there in the dip is that straight line there. Down here at the tip is a straight line. And what we're gonna do now is we have two layers here, right, one layer. This layer one is the layer with the lines on it, and layer two is the layer line with the artwork on it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take both of these while they're selected. I'm gonna zoom out here so I can see my whole bed. This is representative of the bed of the printer. And I'm going to go under layout to what we call array. And because of the slight variation on these width-wise, I'm gonna leave a little bit of a space. I'm gonna put in here 0.08. Um, that's just a, a round number we came up with seemed to make sense. Make sure we have enough variance so we're not having the hearts bump against each other as we go. Top to bottom, they're fine because uh, the tip and the dip don't matter. All right. So what I'm going to do is just start adding these as I go until I fill it up width-wise and do the same thing height-wise. All right. So we have it. We have eight rows and six columns, and that comes out to 48 on the bed. Now what I want to do is when I select one of these, the first thing I want to do is I want to print just the outlines. So I've turned off the, the images themselves, all right? And so I want to send this over to the printer. So the other, as you'll see, the layer one is, you can see it and it's printable. So I want to send this over to the rip. We're going to turn off selected objects. We don't need it. We're printing the whole bed and I'm going to choose the 661, and I'm going to choose color only because I'm actually printing a white ink onto the bed so we can see it. Click OK. Once that's sent over, we will print that to the bed as we showed you, which is what we've done. Now we're going to come in here and we're going to turn off the outlines. Turn on to visit both C and also to be able to print the bitmaps, the uh, Photoshop file, which is the couple. I'm going to print this, and we're going to print this the exact same way. I'm going to print it to the same driver because there's it's a white heart we're printing on. We don't need to print white ink. Muto 661, color only. Click OK. We're going to send this over. And now we've got both of our files already sent over, and we'll be able to print this out on the bed, line up the hearts, and then we're going to print come back and print these, this couple on top of that. Before we go any further, let me show you what we're actually printing on is right here. This is from bestblanks.com. These are actually a ceramic uh, sublimation ornament and it's a heart shape and they're, they're nice because the same coating that works to allow you to sublimate also works quite well with UV, so you get a good adhesion to it. And I think you're going to find it's a bit less expensive to print these with UV than it is to print them with sublimation. But we ordered these. 
If you buy the 100 of them at a time, they're $1.61 a piece. And they have a bunch of different shapes. If you look back here, they actually have oval shaped, heart shaped, snowflake shaped. This is a, a round one, looks kind of like a doily. So there's, there's a number of those in there, bell shaped, Christmas tree shapes, a lot of different shapes you could do for these as well. Let's get back to our story here though, and the printing. So we have in here, this is our outlines. We would send these over. These I would not print in fine mode. I would do these in fast, right? And then these I would do in our fine mode. We'll just go through and process it just so we see how much it costs to print these. It's nothing to print the lines. It may be a one or two cents total to print the whole bed full of lines. So we're going to go ahead and process these, get the, the, the ink cost total for this. And you'll get an idea of just how crazy it is and how much money you can make by doing these type of ornaments. We also could have done these with a jig on the machine, but as, as you'll see, as with the hearts, it might be a little bit tough because they're not going to be consistently the same size. We found that they were slightly varied in, in width, not so much in height as they were in width, and the height didn't matter as much because there was a dip on one end and a tip on the other. But where you had the wings of the heart going out, it was, it was a challenge trying to get them across the bed. So you got 87 cents worth of ink. That's on a, the whole bed of 48 ornaments. So it's less than two cents an ornament. Plus, if you buy them at 100 at a time, we had $1.61 into them. Let's go ahead and get these sent over to the printer, and uh, we'll see what it looks like. All right, it looks like it's done. Let's pop this open, take a look. 48 ornaments, beautifully printed, I might say so myself. And uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go through and just recap everything in it. Took under 18 minutes to print, so you, uh, you could turn this around let's just say twice an hour. It does take a bit of a time to load this up. If you had a jig, you probably could load it up and do it three times an hour, but say two to two and a half times an hour that you could turn this around and be able to print 48 of these ornaments. So that we'll do the numbers on them. We broke it out. As you remember in the video I did when I was showing you the software, we're looking at literally $400 worth of profit sitting here on the bed. I think it was $398.80 worth of profit sitting here on the bed. If we do it two and a half times an hour, that's right at a thousand dollars an hour profit. <clears throat> that was based on selling these ornaments for ten dollars. Even if we took this down and went to six dollars an ornament, make four dollars less per ornament, you are still talking about making over five hundred dollars per hour on the machine doing these ornaments. Very, very simple, very easy way to do it. And again, you could charge extra. We talked about we haven't done it, but literally, if you're going to send these out as a save the date. You could literally just turn this over, put the bridal company, company com, try that again, bridal parties names. You could have the date, you know, save the date where it's going to be at, and probably add another three or four dollars for each ornament just to do that. Which is a great, great way of doing it. Or you could slap a magnet on the back of this. This could go on a window, I mean, on a on a refrigerator or something like that with the date that they're getting married. So just another way you can take your expert jet load it up with a bunch of things and make a bunch of money and oh did i mention you could also do these for christmas ornaments as well not just for for bridal things so you could have pictures of the grandkids and stuff like that or whatever you wanted to put on so good way to make money with your expert jet 661 i'm don copeland thanks for watching